ready to do this? <laughs> we are at the Gumsa Trail trailhead in Morgan Monroe State Forest. On our way to do the whole thing, hopefully, by the end of the week. Maybe. Maybe by Wednesday. <laughs> it's in time for Turkey Day. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we are a couple miles in on the trail. We have warmed up quickly. It's actually pretty nice feeling. We decided that tonight when we're freezing in our tent, if we're freezing in our tent, we will have to remember the warmth that we had earlier. shelter we think <laughs> well um, how'd you sleep last night <laughs> Wet. um we have a little problem it rained and everything is wet inside the tent sleeping bags and I've already wiped off our bags Jim's sleeping or backpack is holding water it's soaked in the top so now we're trying to figure out what to do well Here's our campsite in the pine something or other bottomlands by a creek we slept by. We are all soggy this morning. We stayed warm. We did not stay dry. So now figure out what to do about that? Okay, so here's what we decided to do. Since our sleeping bags and sleeping pads and the tent were all wet, we are hiking back to the truck. And going to try to find another tent and a place to maybe dry our sleeping bags in the laundry mat or something. Anyway, this is where the adventure begins. <laughs> I just thought it was yesterday. where we left off and see how far we can get by the end of the day tomorrow. Hey, so we're finally on a new part of the trail. What do you think about that? Um. Making progress. Okay, well, we made it to Bear Lake. On our way to Fox's Den Shelter. This 
sun is finally peeping out for us. It's supposed to be pretty tomorrow. The sunset might be a pretty one tonight if we can see it. Just a mile or two away now, I think, from the shelter for the night. Okay, only 27.9 miles left to go to the end. Huh. All right, well, we are almost at the shelter. Thank you, Lutheran Hills, for the shelter. with a picnic table and a fire pit all right time to eat this morning <laughs> yeah. let's um get her waking up circumstances and swimming right it's raining in bed yeah. raining raining and swimming <laughs> yeah <laughs> check that out um, sun Right on our front porch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do we need it today? Yes, we do. Yay, hoo. Now, making breakfast in the tent. Good old oatmeal, here we come. Okay, technically, I guess we're not making oatmeal in the tent. We're making the oatmeal in the vestibule just outside of the tent but hey how convenient is that there's our little tight <laughs> tight quarters it keeps you cozy when it's hot or cold i mean this tent is livable <laughs> it's livable it's a frosty morning It's going to warm up all the way to 47. Packing up, ready to leave. Super close. <laughs> you took the map and the guide. I'll check. Sun coming through the trees here. Okay, so I checked the map and we are about three, a little over three miles in for the day. Should have another potential camping spot in another couple of miles. Not for tonight, but just another place, one of the other places you can stay along the way. So we'll check that out. Maybe we'll find something fun to come back to. That was a little bit of a road walk here. Just cross a cool railroad bridge. We're not far from Helmsburg. We just crossed Highway 45. I 
it'll come out in the video, but that road goes straight up. Good thing we're not going that way. Looks like maybe they're building a shelter on Indian Hills area. Cool, something. Trail heads that way. Okay, so we had lunch. I'm just talking to the camera. Damn. We had lunch at the uh, Indian Hills. Um, looks like a shelter they're building. <clears throat> and now we're on our way for today's destination. It is Pine Pond, where we're going to be picked up and go to our cabin. Spend a couple days for Thanksgiving with the rest of the family. And then we'll come back and finish. Well, change of plans. We are going on the Yellowwood. Do a little stint of night hiking, I think. Just five more miles. But it's pretty up here. I'm gonna stop and turn the camera around. We're up on a little ridge right now. The views through there are pretty cool. Sun is over that way. We've had the sun out all day today. It's been nice. It was his idea. Keep going. <laughs> For night hiking, it's good to know we're still on the trail. And there's animals out here with us. Back where we left off Wednesday. It's overcast and muddy. Not quite the beautiful sunshine that we had Wednesday, but 14 point what? 14 ish miles left to go. We got this. Here we are hiking along Yellowwood Lake. We uh, stopped off at the North Yellowwood Lake parking area on Wednesday. And there's one at the south end of the lake too. So the north is the one we stopped at. Pretty neat views. Oh, I like that one right there too. We're on a little gravel road part right now. Oh, and the wind is probably making the sound bad. But I think I see the highway down there. 46 and our stop at the Hickory Shades Motel. 
Doesn't sound shady at all, does it? <laughs> State Road 46. Got a neat view out back the other way. Okay, well, we got to the Belmont Motel, which is where we were, had planned to stop for the night. And we did. We got checked in, made use of the facilities, and uh, decided to hike most of the rest of the trail, at least down to where we had parked the truck. And that leaves us about two miles tomorrow. We're about ten miles in for the day today. And possibly we should get back to the truck right about the time we lose daylight. So pretty nice. Sun came out. I don't know what the temperature is, but it turned out to be a really nice day. Things are drying out. I think the rain comes back in around 3 o'clock tomorrow, so we should be done by then. It's all good. It's been fun. it to the truck and it's not even dark so we did a little faster than we thought we would yeah we just have a couple miles two and a half two miles two miles tomorrow out and then another two miles back in finish it off last section four miles Technically two miles until we're done, but then we have to hike those two miles back. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be a backtracking trip if we didn't backtrack. Yes, we're learning backtracking. All right, uphill to start the day. Here we go. Surprise, it's not straight up. We didn't see the turn right into the woods. Here we go. All right, so. Just because we didn't go straight up that hill didn't mean we didn't go up it. Climbed all the way to the top of this cool ridge. And now we can see in both directions. Kind of opened up up here a little bit. Nice. Nice day so far. I think rain is predicted day for later, but that's okay. We should be done before it comes in. I like it up here. The gravestone, headstone up here. Just all by itself, apparently. It looks like it says 1886. This is pretty in this section, how the sun is shining through. Oh, found her water in a hole. We are getting near the end of this thing and it is really, really getting tight and thick. We decided in the summertime, 
this would be probably not very much fun fighting through all the all the thick brush Panther Creek. I don't really think there's any panthers in Indiana. I'm hoping not. The uh, border to Hoosier National Forest, right across over there.